morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. We're in the 20s already. It's not long left until Christmas. Uh, this month has really, really rattled through. I am up late this morning. I had a bit of a, a lie-in. Not a very long one, but I had a bit of a lie-in. So I'm feeling just a bit off in time. But I still managed to sit down for a few minutes and knit on my sock. I'm really pushing to get this sock finished. I have only this much yarn left, but it should be enough uh, until I get to the toe. And then the toe is the contrast colour anyway. But I've enjoyed that for a few minutes. But I'm now at the stage where I need to go and get myself dressed and ready for the day. I have quite a busy day ahead. The first thing I need to do is blitz this kitchen. It looks as though, I don't know, it's just there's stuff everywhere. Uh, the table is unusable because there's so much stuff just has been left on it. And surfaces, it just needs a good clean. So that's the first thing I'm going to do this morning. And see what other bits and pieces need done around the house this morning. I'd like to get those done. And I have an appointment just after lunchtime and then I'm going to get my hair dealt with. So I'm looking forward to that this afternoon. So it's going to be quite busy, but I will take you along with me and hopefully in amongst all of that, there'll be the odd little bit of knitting time. And yeah, we'll just see what today brings. It's good to be sitting down for a while. It's been a go, go, go sort of day. I got the kitchen tidied so that it looks a little bit more respectable, all cleaned up. And I got my fire cider, which you will have seen, bottled up. I had prepped it, I would say it's a good month and a half, two months ago. Um, I had just randomly looked up recipes and kind of combined recipes from the internet. i had never made fire cider before but I'd been told how good it was so I bottled that up and tried a shot of it actually and it'll be something I need to get used to but it wasn't distasteful so and it's good for me so I'm going to take it over the next few months so that we can maybe ward off any of the colds and bugs that are going around. So I got that done and finished up my wrapping, which was good. I went to my appointment and got the hair cut so it's more respectable. 
and yeah so it's just been busy 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 and I'm sitting down now for a minute I'm going to sit and knit for a little minute before I make the dinner but before that I was looking online you know that I am knitting the find the joy socks by um, Kaylette and the crazy sock lady and over the last week or so I've talked about um, knitting a year of Kay's patterns. I love her heel toe do si do. I love, now I love the DK vanilla. And oh my goodness, what else have I knit of hers? I've knit Rhinebeck Rumi's, I think is hers. I've knit a few pairs of her socks in the past, but I want, there. she has so many more out there and I want to knit um, a year of Kay's patterns. And a couple of people alerted uh, to me to this um, and I because I actually hadn't got caught up with my weekend vlogs but in one of it was either today or yesterday in the last couple of days she announced that she is having a sale of her sock patterns through vlogmas and I think in just to the end of the year so if you're interested in trying some of Kay's patterns, if you haven't before, or if you're just interested in trying a new one, jump over to her Ravelry pages. And I think, um, yes, the coupon code uh, for the sale is Vlogmas. And I'm sure she'll not mind me sharing that because she has shared that on her vlog so yeah hop on over there I definitely have availed and have picked up a few patterns to fill the gaps of the patterns I was missing of hers because I will knit all her patterns and I cannot recommend them enough and how well written they are and if there's a new technique and she would use some different techniques that I haven't tried before um, she always links in the pattern puts a link to a tutorial that she has created for that particular stitch. So I think once I have finished my Find the Joy socks, now hopefully we'll be finished those in the next day or two, I am going to start a new pair. I know a lot of people at this time of year, and I have done it many years in the past, have cast on for a Christmas Eve sock, for a Christmas Eve cast on, a tradition that Little Bobbins started a number of years ago. This year I don't think I'm going to hold fast to that. I rarely would have an opportunity on Christmas Eve night certainly to, to work on us knitting and during the day maybe not either. So this year I'm not going to stick to having a particular Christmas Eve cast on. Just as soon as I've finished my Find the Joy socks I'm going to start a new pair. And this is the pattern that I am thinking of doing. They're called Knit Nook, Knit Nook Socks. And they are the Crazy Sock Lady. I'll put the, the name of this particular pattern on the screen. So I think that's going to be my next cast on. And the thing now is to decide which yarn to knit. Um, I'm very tempted to cast on this yarn which is the yarn I got last week from a homespun house it's called Staying In so it's a choice between that or some very 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 deep stash and the reason it came to me was really because it's the one that jumped out of the cupboard when I opened the cupboard door and the cupboard tried to explode. And I didn't want to dig deeper so that I wouldn't have the mess to clear up. So this is the one that popped out and thought, mm, maybe. So this is really deep stash, but it's so pretty. It's fondant fibre. I don't think she dies anymore. Um, a lot of you may know her. This is called Nellie's Frock and it was from a set she did based on Little House of the Prairie. I think I have the bag, it came with a project bag a long, long time ago. 
and this is an al merino alpaca nylon blend and it's really pretty so for these new socks it's one of these so my question to you is which one do you think I should cast on this one or this one the homespun house or the fondant fiber put a comment below and tomorrow I will wind up the one that's got the most votes um, I like both of them equally so which one do you think I should cast on the knit nook socks with um, yeah that is my my question of today what do I do next so that's where I'm at today um, so far I have dinner to prep I'm going to do another hello fresh meal it, they are working really well and have been really nice and what's really nice is when they're served up in the plate they look professional <laughs> which is really nice because my meals don't normally look professional but I'm going to do that and tidy up a bit the next few days as we're all up to Christmas there's a few more things to get done and yeah I want to kind of take it slowly we're now at the stage where Peter is now officially on holiday so that is really lovely so he can relax and yeah and help I hope but I'm off now to start prepping dinner